and today we're going to be looking at the business environment we're going to be looking at the micro environment the market environment and the macro environment and we're going to see how all of these kind of like tie in together so if we think about the you know micro environment you know and the business environment the business environment includes three different sections it has the um, micro at the center which is all about your company it has the market environment about all the people that you're going to be interacting with from an external environment perspective and then the macro environment the macro environment kind of like um, you know where you don't really have any control in terms of what's happening in terms of the macro environment so in the micro environment you know we're going to be looking at you know the different elements including the vision mission you know the objectives of the company the organizational culture um, and then the management leadership and resources of an organization but with regards to the market environment we're going to again be looking at all the elements in terms of you know um, consumer suppliers, competitors, um, industrial trade unions, strategic alliances and so on and so forth. And the macro environment, again we're going to be touching on Pestel, which you, which if you haven't already seen um, the other video, solely focus on, on Pestel, the macro environment. So what I'm going to do is kind of use the example of Apple um, and, and try and relate these things to um, this company example. And if we think firstly about the micro environment and the first part of the micro environment, the vision. So what is the vision? The vision is like a dream of what the business and where the business wants to go. So, um, you know, if we look at the different founders, there have been different visions, slightly different tweaks and visions for Apple. So where where is the vision? What is the what was the vision for Apple? Well if you think about Steve Jobs, um, Steve Jobs said that it helps people to realise their dreams and to change the world. Tim Cook's vision to make the best products on earth and leave the world better than we found it. So this is this is where they want to go with Apple. So the next element after the vision is going to be the mission statement. So the mission statement for Apple is to bring the best personal computing products and support to students, educators, designers, scientists, engineers, business persons and consumers in over 140 countries around the world. Um, and, and then, you know, we say to ourselves, after the mission statement, then we're going to move on to the objectives and the purpose for Apple or for your business. So when we look at the um, objectives, the objectives, you know, really need to be used thinking about SMART goals, you know, S being specific, M being measurable, A being, you know, attainable, R being realistic and T being time specific. So if we specifically relate these objectives to Apple, we can see that specific you know, increase users' traffic to Apple's website through social media posts, advertisements to boost new product purchases by at least 5% from the release of the previous models. You know, grow leads 5% by the next product launch. So we can see that they're being very specific in terms of what they're saying that they want to achieve. Measurable, track relevant KPIs key performance indicators as, you know, indicated below to identify specific data points to analyze including conversion rates, hashtag user, you know, customer satisfaction and loyalty, and the competitive advantages and disadvantages. Attainable, utilize social media to direct consumers to announce about new releases and updates, offer free contactless delivery and Apple support online as an alternative to in-store purchases.
Realistic, by setting goal to increase social media engagement and tracking KPIs by at least 5%, Apple you know, can continue to sell products to existing and new customers as scheduled. And then time specific, you know, time based. You know, with the recent launch of the new iPhone 12 models, tracking smart goals and KPIs within six months time frames will allow for quick feedback and insight into these specific products. So we can see here that, you know, when we're talking about um, smart goals, um, Apple themselves are being very, very specific in terms of what they want to achieve and how they're actually applying these smart techniques to their company organization. The next area in the micro environment, um, you know, really is the organizational culture and resources. Organization culture is the collaboration of values, expectations and practices that guide and inform actions of all the team members. And it's this type of culture which determines really how people act and behave within your organization. We can see for instance that Apple is very innovative. You know, they are definitely goal orientated, stable, people orientated, uh, team orientated at a lower level and uh, detail orientated. These are all p traits in terms of what's expected of the people working in Apple and then this kind of like translates in terms of how they perform and these type of cultures and beliefs are embedded within the organization's way of working and there are different types of cultures that an organization may have you may have a task culture a power culture a people culture a role culture so you have to assess what type of culture is your company when we think about the organization of resources then you know we are actually talking about you know the human resources at all different levels you know um, in terms of Tim Cook at the, the center the CEO um, you've got you know um, CEOs um, within your at the top manager who report all report in to Tim Cook and then you have you know um, divisions product divisions in terms of their iPhones in terms of their you know uh, headphones in terms of Apple laptops and so on and so forth and then you, so, so you've got these and then at the lower level you have um, a kind of like a task orientated um, matrix type system where people actually work together so you have a three tier type system you know which has all parts of the physical um, the financial and the human resources financial resources because they need their office buildings they need to open their stores and their stores are quite sophisticated and in key locations um, you know the physical um, part of their stores the financial side to start at the human side to actually make the organization run because at the end of the day the organization itself is only bricks and mortar and it's the people who work within the organization that actually <laughs> make it run and how well it runs or how efficiently it runs is dependent upon the management and leadership style which we will um, come on to next so when we think about leadership style you know you have to adopt different leaders and leadership styles at the same time you have to be um, um, a, a good manager as well I mean and there is a difference between a manager and a leader managers plan organize direct and control where as leaders you know motivate their employees to get the job done in the most efficient and effective way so that your company is actually more competitive and gains a competitive advantage by the way you operate and by the way you work at the same time within you know um, Apple you have mentors and coaches as well and all of these leaders mentors coaches and managers in terms of the leadership hierarchy work together within Apple in order to you know get the best out of their employees in the most efficient and effective way so again you know this is very important in part of the uh, micro side of the business environment so the next part of the business environment is the market environment and the market environment is the external environment it's all those people you're interacting with including you know your customers suppliers competitors and again when we look at this you can see 
other models that interact with these to give you more information uh, but I don't really want to go into too much detail in terms of talking about you know um, the Portis Fire Force model and if you know buy customers ha are high or low in terms of their buying power and their suppliers are the suppliers within the environment do they have high or low buying power but these elements that you need to take into consideration you know as well as you know your strategic alliances and your strategic alliances again links into Porter's diamond model in terms of one of the um, elements that contribute to a country or region gaining a competitive advantage in addition to these you've got additional things like you know the civil society trade unions industrial regulations and then the final um, part to the business environment is the macro environment and the macro environment is are really again external but these are the elements you really cannot control and you know there is a separate video on this and these include um, the factors using pastel which are the political factors the social um, the social factors the economic factors the technological factors the legal factors and the environmental factors so these um, elements here all contribute to the business environment So just to recap, we've talked about the business environment, including three different parts, the micro, uh, market and macro, macro environment. We note that the micro environment includes the mission, the vision, the objectives, the organizational culture, the management and leadership and resources. We know that the market environment includes you know, elements like the consumers, suppliers, competitors and there's more detail that you can actually look at by going into and using other videos. And then you've got the macro environment which you don't really have any control of but needs to be monitored so you can be um, proactive and have foresight rather than using the excuse of hindsight. So these elements all make up the business environment. already downloaded please download the Zapworks app on your mobile and then you can bring up the zapper and with this barcode you can zap the barcode and additional information will come up the different models will come up in terms of SWOT in terms of Pestel in terms of Porter's Fire Forces and Porter's Diamond model which again would lead to additional um, homework for you to watch in terms of you know uh, additional videos and so on and so forth to reinforce and to re-embed what we've actually talked about but you would see that all of these things and these models kind of all interrelate and interlink to each other so thank you today from Mr. Tan